Hi everybody, it's uh, Saturday the 21st, yes, 21st of September, um, it's 20 past 4 in the afternoon, it was a busy morning, uh, well, as far as the week goes, not that busy, um, I got up and did a bit of crochet and watched um, Ange, Ange, uh, from Yarn and Yarns. I shared uh, her latest video on my Facebook page, um, but I'll link it below. Link Yarn and Yarns below. Uh, I've shouted out, shouted out, I've called you out. No, I've given shout outs to uh, Angela a few times because um, I really love watching her channel. It's it's one of those, you know, I'm like, oh, is Angela's video up yet? I really love watching it. She's just lovely. Um, so please, by all means, if you're not already subscribed or you've not checked her out, go and do so. She's lovely. And she runs a yarn shop in uh, Penarth in Wales. And then she'll do uh, videos where she'll talk about what uh, like new stock she's got in the shop, which is the latest video. Uh, and then she'll do a normal video showing knitting, spinning, crochet. Um, yeah, show us the awesome project she's doing. So, And then occasionally she'll do... She did Vlogmas last year, I think, and maybe the year before, and I loved it. I just, I look forward to it so much. Mm. So yes, I watched Ange this morning. I watched uh, Crystal from Bag of Day. Um, she's got a 48 hour giveaway going because it's her birthday tomorrow. A, a significant birthday, but I shan't say what age because, you know, she's a lady. We don't say ladies' ages. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's got a 48 hour giveaway going for 100 skeins of yarn. 100. Amazing. That's also, I think, on my Facebook page. Uh, Blue Child Crochet. It's all linked below. So let me show you what I've been doing. I am still working on um, Art, the large mousse. Art is the lighter coloured one. So I've got to start on his antlers. Uh, I've just sat and put some work into him. But there's so I'm looking here thinking, this is never going to be done in time. So here's what I have so far. His snout's massive. Massive. I think it will balance out when he's got his antlers on, which I haven't made yet. But there's his mouth. Oh, it's sticking off to one side. Really cute. Uh, and I've just got his arms on. So there are ends everywhere. There are pins everywhere. Most of these pins were in the snout holding it on when I sewed it. And I sewed it so far and then stuffed it some more. So... Yeah, he's got a big old snout. Cute. Um, so that's that. I've got... I have legs. He has legs. Somewhere. What have I got? Ugh. Just pulled some stitches out of his ear. <laughs> I have an ear minus some stitches at the bottom. Look at that. I need to just sort that out. His legs aren't there. There's the other ear. And his tail. Which is tiny and adorable. Where are his legs? I don't know. His legs are here somewhere. Trust me, I've made legs. So there he is. He will get some more work on him later. I probably want to finish filming this because um, Jack filmed a video um, with some of the sweets they bought earlier. So Paul is, I believe, editing that now. So he's on the Mac. I'm just going to fix this right think about it um so i got up watched those videos then i went to spin class which was really good to be honest i was uh, i can see myself uh doing that again it's early enough to not be uh, not cut into anything uh obviously we're going over to paul's mum or dad's or whatever we'd probably be need to be leaving before I'm back from the gym, so that might be a no-no. But for general Saturdays, I fixed it. Well, we've not got anything on. I think I might go to the gym and do spin. The teacher was poorly, and she was still harsh. <laughs> well, not harsh, but it was it was a hard workout. Still, I mean, obviously, you you get out what you put in, but you know, you sort you do your own resistance. But she tells you to turn it up, so. She'd got a full-on cold. She was, like, blowing her nose in between shouting instructions at us, and she was still on a spin bike. Hard as nails. Um, 
So yeah, did spin, came home, Paul's not feeling very well today. Um, so I said, well, I'll take the kids out and I fully intended to take them to the scrap store that we've got in Derby. Uh, and I found that through Sean. Hi, Sean, uh, of Sean's Crafty Corner. That's right, isn't it, Sean's Crafty Corner? Um, she went to a scrap store they've got near them. I, I think they're in Paul, near Paul. Um, and I'd never heard of a scrap store. I was like, what is this magical thing? And it turns out we've got one in Derby. It's like a recycle centre, play and recycle centre, I think it's called. Um, and you, you become a member. I think it was £10 for us to be a member for the year. Not last year, before. Uh, and you go and you can basically fill up a trolley. And it's uh, stuff gets donated from local businesses that would go in the skip. But, like, you know, leftover, if they've had... I don't know, a load of labels that were going to print, uh, but then they changed the size of the labels or something. The label sheets, unprinted, go there. And this is difficult. We used to get um, cardboard boxes that Lush haven't used. Um, well, certain festive packaging or something that they didn't use all of. Instead of it going, you know, sort of back around to be pulped up again or whatever, it just goes to the recycle centre. So we had some lush boxes that the kids played with and uh, bottle caps and tons of fabric, tons of it. We've even got like a, a paint recycle centre there. We, we didn't bother with any, you know, like wall paint, not, not art paint. And then they've got like, ours has got a craft section as well where you can actually go and buy stuff. But anything in the general recycle section, fill your trolley up and you can have a trolley each time you go. I don't think there's a limit on it for the family membership. Like how many times you can visit. Obviously if you go every day they might think you're taking the mick a little bit. But um, yeah, we went and got quite a few. Uh, went, I think we've been at least three or four times. But obviously our membership's expired. So I was going to take them and join back up, but it's shut today and then it's shut for the rest of the next week. So I think we've just managed to pick a week where they're restocking or refurbing or something. So that was bad timing, you know, just, just unlucky. So they wanted to go to a craft shop, which other than going to like Ryman's, there's not, you know, I said, well, we can go to Chilwell and there's a pound land if you wanted to go and get some bits. And then Paul said, well, what about the range? Well, that could do. And the normal range we go to is in Loughborough. And I don't like driving to Loughborough at the weekend. Loughborough at the weekends is bad. Loughborough in the week is bad, so the weekends is a pain in the bum. Um, so I looked it up and there's one in Nottingham, so we... Yeah, I think it's about six miles away. So I plumped for that one. Me and the kids went while Paul rested up. Got a, he's got a, he's got something wrong with his shoulder. And something in there, he has problems with that. And then it goes up into his head and he gets a really bad, like, tension headache, migraine. Don't know what it is, but it feels like. So that quite, it doesn't feel very well when it happens. Um, so. We left him to it and we went to um, Castle Retail Park in Nottingham and the big store that's the range there used to be Dunelm because we pulled up I'm like, I remember this place and I was like oh we bought a Christmas tree from Dunelm here probably about six years ago that noisy car's come by that's the new neighbour a few doors down I think and his youthful friends with their noisy cars yeah it's revving again <laughs> Youths, um, yes. So uh, don't know when there is no more. It's now a massive range, but it's good. Massive the range, I should say. So we wandered around. Um, I ended up buying two packs of tissue paper. I've got like blue and green tissue paper, but no sort of fancy stuff. I did have one pack of stuff with stars on, but I used it all. I can't remember what for, but I used it all. So I got some um, like yellowish, goldy stuff with hearts on, and then just black and white polka dots. And this was they were one pound twenty five each, or two for two pounds. So I got the two. And then we bought a 
paint palette from there for Tobin. Jack was gonna have one too, but then changed his mind. We were in there ages. And then we went over to B&M. Cause that retail park's weird. There's no nowhere to eat on there. And there's Range, The Range, Aldi, Poundland, B&M and a gym. Um, so we went in B&M, but by that point I was busting for the loo. And we'd already like gone through the checkout at um, the range, and then I noticed the toilets, and I thought that <laughs> it was back in the shop, and I was just about to go and ask, and then loads of people like stopped like queuing up at the till and stuff, and I thought, "What are we standing here as long asking?" But I said, "I don't want to go back in with my stuff," so I was like, oh, "We'll just go to the toilet in the other shop." There weren't toilets in the other shop, um, and I'd quit looking pound and see if they had a customer toilet. And Aldi didn't, so it was either go back in the range without my shopping, like dump it back at the car, or we go somewhere to eat because it was getting on for about one o'clock by that point. So I was like, "Do you want to go for some food?" And they both, yeah, yes, they did. They wanted McDonald's, so I googled, got on Google Maps, a McDonald's near me. There was one like half a mile away or something. So we jumped in the car, went to McDonald's, got to the toilet. I was like, oh, like heavens. Um, turns out the boys both needed a wee as well. So they went first, didn't they? I'm standing there, legs crossed, like, stop it, I need the toilet. I take them in with me because I don't want them off in the men's on their own. Tobin's probably get to the age where we could, but if they both come in with me, they both come in a cubicle with me, I know where they are. Um, yes, so then we waited over 15 minutes for our food to come to us in McDonald's. I was like, it's McDonald's. It's not a restaurant. What is going on? Um, but you know what it is? It's, it's people who have to take parts out of the food everywhere we go. We never get food quickly. We don't get it that late, but... Because Paul doesn't want onion in it and he doesn't want ketchup on it, he doesn't want mustard on it. So of course Tobin had, uh, what did Tobin have today? He had a quarter pounder today, which is good for Tobin. And he nearly ate it all as well. I was like, oh my word, he won't eat for three weeks now. <laughs> um, but I took the mustard and the ketchup and the onion off it and added, he had shredded lettuce in it though, so that's good. And then Jack had a little chicken wrap with a Happy Meal. But I had to take, what was there in that? Ketchup and lettuce. I had to take that out. Um, I just had a Big Mac <laughs> with everything in it, because everything. Um, but yes, I went and asked the lady, I said, sorry, I said, do I come to you to chase up food? I said, because it's been over 15 minutes. Well, we are extremely busy. Yeah, but you're McDonald's, fast food. And then it appeared like a minute or two later, I was like, mm hmm. And then people who'd sat down sort of five minutes before, you know, sat down five minutes, or sat down, got their food within five minutes, and like, they forgot us. That's what it was. The... Anyway. So, I was a little bit miffed. I was trying to ask. Decide between peeved and miffed and thought I was going to say a swear word. <laughs> I was I was not very happy. Um, more so with the way she spoke to me, like I'm stupid. Like I didn't know it was busy, but I'm like, it's, it's, there's no excuse for 50, over 15 minutes for McDonald's. Anywho, yes, so we did that. And it, they had the worst car park I've ever seen. It was nowhere near big enough and full of fools. There was one bloke that was like blocking the whole car park trying to get a space. But in the process of doing that, blocking two cars in that were trying to leave so he could get a space. And everyone was looking at him going, move and you can have a space. Don't just sit there. Unbelievable. So yeah, McDonald's slightly stressed me out. <laughs> Should have gone somewhere, somewhere out, shouldn't we? Anywho, um, yeah, and then came back and Jack filmed a video showing the, 
they bought loads of sour sweets. Oh, they gave me a, I don't know what it's called, like a fiery jawbreaker, gobstopper slash bubblegum thing. And it's one of those super cinnamon, like, fire. But I managed to keep it in my mouth and get past the fire and get to the chewy, the bubblegum part. It still wasn't very pleasant. Mm -hmm. And my mouth was a little bit numb for the rest of the drive home. I was like, this is disgusting. But yeah, and then we got back and sorted a few things on the computer with Paul and then I just sat and crocheted because they were filming a video. So it's it's been all right, it's not been mega busy. Ooh. You're getting a long one today. <laughs> Until I've had a bit of time. Waffle. So I went to LD last night. Yes, I got out. <laughs> Yay, I got to nip out, my favorite thing. So I went and had a look at the, uh, the yarn they've got on there. They've got some nice colours of double knit. Um, but I don't know, this, with it being four balls of each, I don't really, I happily have a colour, you know, one of each colour or two of each colour. I don't want four of each colour because I kind of want like lots of the colours and I can't justify, <laughs> can't get away with buying all of that. So I just settled on two packs of the blanket yarn, baby yarn. So this, I don't know, has it got a colour on it? No, I don't think so. Does it say anywhere? It says it's chunky and it's polyester and I thought it had a colour on it. No. Unless I'm being incredibly blind. But it's an orangey colour. So that will be pumpkins grumpy pumpkins i'm gonna do one of those later i think um i'm sure it had a color on the website carrot there we go found it it's a little right in there so that was three yeah 3.99 and then i got a baby pink this is called baby pink cupcake okay. tobin um so yeah Um, just our studies in there. Oh, don't make a huge mess. Um, so I got baby pink. I have got, oh God, she knows, I have got baby pink um, blanket yarn, of the, the Banat blanket yarn that Amber sent me. Hi, Amber. Um, but I want to make some pigs, so it can't hurt to have more, can it? And it's really cute. They had some blue, and they had a chestnut, I think it was called, because Erica's got some coming. Hi, Erica. Um, and it was nice. And I thought, ooh, maybe an otter. Mm. But I thought, no, calm down. You've already got two packs in your trunk. So, you never know. I might go back. I don't know. I don't plan to. Um, but they've got some Aaron. Someone's coming back in. No, gone in there. Um, yeah, they had some of the big like 400 gram balls of Aaron in a nice green and cream. I did look at the cream DK, I was like, that's quite, <laughs> ooh, what a nice cream, <laughs> exclaims everybody. No, um, it was a nice creamy colour and they got like a, it was a, I think they said it was mustard, but it was more of a, more brown than mustard. That was a nice colour and I thought, mm, again, do I need four balls? Do I want four balls? Well, yes, but no. You know, <laughs> if I get away with it, yes, not really. Um, so yes, that was that. I looked at the yarn at the range because they uh, the range in Loughborough stocks a bit of yarn, but not any of the Karen or the you know the Karen cakes or the Banat blanket yarn that they have on their website. There's none to be found. I have looked. Um, yeah, they got the. the 300 gram, like the big balls of a blanket. They seem very squished. They didn't seem as big as the ones I've got. They're not as big as my balls <laughs> of blanket yarn. Um, but yeah, it's 15 pounds for uh, the, the 300 gram balls. They've got 100 gram balls of, I think, I don't know if it's the baby blanket, yeah, they had a white in it, but it was five pound for the hundred gram balls, and then they got Karen Simply Soft. That was five pound a ball. 
and they got some, there were some really nice colours. And then what else did they have? They've got the baby blanket, uh, like stripes and you know, the variegated colours. So I was like, I really like this, I'll get this. And I was like, oh, it's a fiver. I'm not getting that. No, get it back. And they've got a lot of patterns. Patterns? Patterns? Yes. Uh, Fab DK and stuff like that. That's really, they had really nice, like, black and white, like, not speckled, maybe mauled. Black and white, it was a lovely colour. And then they got it in blue and white. I was like, ooh, you're pretty. And then I started rearranging the shelves because they were in the wrong places. I was like, ooh, I, see, I could rearrange yarn. I'd be good at it. Mm. But yes, so it was a good, good, nice to have a bit of a wander and a bit of time with the kids. Um, not in the house, you know, when they're bored and roam around the house trying to murder each other. Um, but yeah, it's been a right day. So, um, what are we going to do for the rest of the day? I've got, well, we've got to try and decide on tea. Not that we're very hungry or Paul feels like eating. He had a uh, crunching up cornflakes for dinner because that's what he felt like eating. And it took him a while to feel ready to eat that. Um, so yes, I don't know what we'll have for tea. Something light, so I might have to... Might have to nip out because we've got no bread. We if we we try when we go shopping on Sunday to get bread and cobs for pack up that will eke us to you know Friday Saturday a push, while well, they ate all the bread that was left this morning for toast. Because I had toast, then they wanted toast of course. Because why is it with the smell of other people's toast? You're like, oh, if someone says you want toast, you're like no, 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 it doesn't excite me. And then you smell toast, you're like I want toast. Right now. <laughs> so Jack came down. Who's got toast? <laughs> well, that would be me because I'm the only person that's up. Like Paul asked me that yesterday. Have you put bleach down the toilet? Well, yes, because the children don't. And they can't get their lid off. So I was like, if you haven't done it, pretty good guess. He never puts bleach down. I never put, it's not bleach, it's the, yeah, the toilet dog. You know, it was one of those questions I answered it and then thought, should have been, you know, the sarcasm was a bit late coming. I must have been tired. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to love you and leave you. This is what I've got uh, left out of my... Ah, there's my uh, stitch marker. So I've still got a good chunk of this left. Uh, this is the um, Red Heart Super Saver Buff. It's a lovely colour. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Ooh, what a lovely beige. What a lovely cream. I like neutral colours. Very nice, very nice. It is a good colour. Right. Help. Ha handy for a lot of things, I think. So, I'm going to stop waffling at you because this has got a good long video. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and see what they're up to. If I need to go and get anything for tea, it will just be cobs or bread or something. Um, so just a pop to the local shop. And that's it really. Chill watch qualifying tonight. Is it Singapore? It's not until half past six. And then we found I'm gonna waffle some more. We found the weirdest programme this morning on channel four. <clears throat> what was it called? World World Chase Tag or something. Basically tag. They've got this built up um area. My battery's gonna go. Built up area. And they play Dobby, you know, tag around it. They were all grown-ups and they're all running around jumping over things, tagging each other. Who knew that was a thing? <laughs> Very entertaining. It's like they don't they don't show the Grand Prix and the qualifying live, but they show like tag. Cheaper probably. But it was <laughs> it got sucked in. <laughs> You're going, ooh, did he get him? <laughs> YouTube it. Find it. Could be the next big thing. Anyway, I'm going to go because my battery's going to die because the kids have been on my camera. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.